Salut tout le monde, j'espère que vous allez bien. Aujourd'hui, on va faire une nouvelle leçon de français et c'est une leçon de prononciation. I'm so happy because today we are going to learn three very important sounds of the French language. Aujourd'hui, on va apprendre trois sons du français qui sont très très importants et très spécifiques de la langue française. Ce sont les sons A, AN, ON. These three sounds are called voyelles nasales. Pourquoi nasal? Nasal because it comes from the nose. So when you pronounce these sounds, the hair comes from the throat and goes through the mouth and through the nose at the same time. This is very specific. Let's make the difference between un en on. So I told you that what is specific is that the air goes through the nose and the mouth. But this is not going to be very useful for you to know that. What's very important is the position of the mouth. So when you pronounce the sound un, the mouth goes like that. Un, un. I exaggerate a bit, of course, but it is to show you. Un. You'll see the difference with the other sound. En, en. You see that my mouth is open. En, en. Un, en, un, en. Third sound, on, on. You see the mouth is small and round. On. Okay, so let's repeat the three sounds. Un, en, on. Un, en, Mm. Okay, this is a bit ridiculous, but you need to do this gymnastic every day until you master the three sounds. To practice that, you can pronounce words where you can find the sound on, un, on. For that, it's also important to recognize these sounds when you read. So let's have a look at the different way we write them. Ok, so first, the sound un, un, can be written en. When I say en, it's the French e. It's i n in English. En, un. Here I want to insist. You should not pronounce any sound n at the end. There is no n at the end. It's written n, but it's not pronounced un. Uh, you see that my mouth doesn't do un, okay? It's a common mistake you make when you start learning French. So it's very important to be careful about that. Let's see an example. Il y a du vin dans le jardin du voisin. Il y a du vin dans le jardin du voisin. So I advise you to Write this sentence and repeat it. Il y a du vin dans le jardin du voisin. Okay, you can also write this sound im. Im. Why m? We put m just before the letter b and p. For example, imbécile, imbécile, impossible, impossible. So here you see we have a B and a P, so the N becomes M. Imbécile, impossible. You can also write it E I N. For example, une ceinture de la peinture. Ceinture, peinture. You hear? I'm not saying ceinture. I'm saying ceinture, not peinture, peinture. You can also write it A I N. Du pain pour demain. Du pain pour demain. Also A I M. J'ai faim. J'ai faim. We can write it Y N, like in syndicat, un syndicat. And also Y M, like une symphonie sympathique. Une symphonie. Sympathic. Here I am pausing the video because I've been asked how do we pronounce un. 
Well, it's the same as EN. I know in theory it's different, but in real life it is the same, so you can add it in the list. OK, let's continue. And to finish with un, you can also write it en, but it's very rare to write it like that. It's only when you have an i or y before. Y -E -N, I -E -N. Par exemple, un citoyen, un citoyen, moyen, moyen, bientôt, bientôt, bienvenue, bienvenue. But be careful, remember that when you see EN, most of the time it is pronounced EN. EN is the second sound we have studied. EN, EN. For example, j'entends le vent. J'entends le vent. We can write it EM before B et P. En septembre, il fait beau temps. En septembre, il fait beau temps. A N. Ma tante aime les oranges. Ma tante aime les oranges. Orange. Ma tante aime les oranges. A M before B et P. Ma tante aime le champagne et le jambon. Ma tante aime le champagne et le jambon. OK, so we've seen un, en, so now let's have a look at on. We can write it on. For example, un garçon blond, un garçon blond, une leçon et une question. Une leçon et une question. And om before b et p, for example, compter les nombres, comprendre et compléter. Compter les nombres, comprendre et compléter. OK, this is finished. So remember two things. The way we write it and the way your mouth has to be when you pronounce it. Un, en, on. The sounds goes from here and from the nose. Un, en, on. J'espère que vous avez aimé cette leçon, que c'était facile à comprendre et je vous dis à très bientôt pour une nouvelle vidéo de français. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Ciao, ciao, à bientôt